Hello. Bonjour everyone. This is Tula Rampon. I'm the France correspondent for International Living and I'm coming today from the very sunny south of France. We are in the Provence Alps Côte d'Azur region about 10 minutes from the city of Toulon. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about a topic I think is very important. French healthcare. Uh, first of all, full disclosure that it's still for me after 12 years of living in the country a lot to get my head around because it's a really incredible service and it's open to anybody, uh, French, expat, Canadian, American, wherever you're coming from, all you need is a long stay visa, which I'm happy to talk to anybody about in more detail and you can sign up for the system. So I'm gonna talk about eligibility, how you do the sign up process. We'll look at how to make a doctor's appointment. And I'm also gonna take you on a little tour around town just to so show you the different uh, healthcare options. We'll go by a clinic and then we'll go to the center of Toulon and I'll show you where some of the doctor's offices and specialists that I've seen over the years where they're located just so you can get an idea of what to expect when you come to France because of course everybody wants to move to France the best place to be uh, first of all just want to tell you that there are no restrictions to sign up for French healthcare. there are no age limitations or pre-existing condition restrictions no networks to join it is just an open system it is regulated by the government so again a lot to get your head around prices do not change uh, I've mentioned that I've been living here since 2010 uh, that's 12 years and since I've been here uh, prices for seeing a doctor there's a fixed rate has never gone up so we pay 25 euro uh not on the system so if you just were here on vacation and you had a really bad cold and you need to see a doctor you would pay 25 euro once you're on the system you get 70 percent of that reimbursed meaning that that same uh doctor's vis visit uh, depending on which week you check with the currency conversion will cost you nine dollars so again hard to get your head around. Um, specialist visits are 50 euro. A stay at the hospital is um, about 100 euro a day and 80% of that is covered. And after one month of God forbid, any best to say longer than a month in the hospital, it's actually 100% covered under the system. So what you need is a long stay visa. Again, you're gonna come to France. You need to be uh, residing here for three months before you can start the application process. You're gonna fill out a form and you're gonna send it in to the local, local social security office. Um, for example, ours is in Toulon because Toulon is the administrative capital of our department known as a county, uh, which is called the Var department very beautiful place to live by the way um, and after temporarily you're gonna get after you've sent your form in you're going to get your Social Security number and within about a month or so time you get a card which is called a uh, carte vitale uh, and this is your health care card I'll show it to you a little bit later when we talk about the doctor's appointments um, one thing that's really important to remember you need to have France as your residence for six months out of the year so there are quite a few expats or just Americans in general might not necessarily tag themselves as expats because they do part-time living abroad so if you're coming here for just three months um, because you need a visa after three months and you want to just come here for a few months um, you're just on the regular system with everybody else and again you'll just pay um, whatever the healthcare fee is like I mentioned be 25 euro to see a doctor so you do need to have the long uh, stay visa um, that's a different process it's not difficult to get I'll just interject that quickly it's a bunch of paperwork and some jumping through hoops but it's, it's a lot easier than some of the other countries in Europe to actually get the long stay visa and this is the retirement visa there is no separate retirement visa so that's what you would come over on so after your three months of living in the country you're gonna have your health care card and that's gonna give you access to um, all of the health care services hospitals clinics specialists dentists physical therapists anything you need it's gonna be covered on the health care card okay so I'm going to go to the next section here um, okay so um, last thing that's really important before we move on to the topic of how to um, sign up to see a doctor and also I'm going to talk about um, a yearly fee that you do have to pay because it's not a hundred percent free um, it's a social welfare system so we'll get into that but the one thing that I wanted to mention that I, I've triple quadruple checked this uh, over the years and it's still quite amazing um, God forbid that anybody get a long-term illness like 
Parkinson's or cancer or um, Alzheimer's or diabetes, anything that you know is long-term and requires consistent care, uh, that is actually 100% covered under the system. Tr long care treatment, again, is pretty incredible. You see your general practitioner um, after your diagnosis and you fill out a form and you send it to the Social Security office. So anybody, again, completely different from the US healthcare system and a bit hard to get your, he your head around, but long-term illnesses, there's a whole list of them on the French um, Social Security website website, those are 100% covered in the system. So I'm going to run and I'm going to get my healthcare card to show you guys and I'll be right back and we'll talk about how to make a doctor's appointment. All right, I'm back with my healthcare card, uh, which looks like this. Won't get too close. The picture is pretty terrible, <laughs> aren't they all? A um, couple of things I re realized that I forgot to mention is uh, prescription drugs. Prescription drugs under French healthcare system are covered at 70 to 100%. Uh, knowing that already they are incredibly cheap. One uh, ongoing prescription that I have, one time I forgot my health card at the pharmacy and um, the woman, she was saying, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to make you pay. And I said, well, I'm here right now. Just tell me, you know, how much is it? She's like, I am so sorry about this. It is seven euro. So an ongoing prescription I have costs seven euro without having the healthcare. Um, and of some, some are medications are covered at 100% and some are covered in between 70 80 and 90 percent um, knowing that again they're already really low compared to prices in the United States um, before we move on to how to make a doctor's appointment I wanted to talk about the cost because I mentioned that you have 70% off doctor's visits uh, and specialists, 80% off of uh, hospital stays, and then they're 100% off, uh, off after the first month, um, and you have 70 to 100% off of prescription drugs. But the system is not completely free, it is extremely low cost, but I'll tell you um, how you'll pay into the system. So, uh, France is on a social welfare system. I know French taxes can be quite scary. The main thing to remember is that the only people that have to worry about high French taxes are the people who are working in France. And even that is taxed at a progressive rate. So just keep in mind that people who are making a lot of money, who are quite wealthy, um, you can think of, you know, starting off at 100,000. I mean, that's maybe not wealthy anymore in the United States, but you can start out thinking of 100,000 and up. These are people working in France. They're taxed at a higher rate so they can be tracks up to 30 percent. Uh, I can't tell you exactly the percentiles. I just know it's taxed quite high when you're making a decent uh, salary because I am making quite a low salary. Um, important to mention that uh, unless you have a working visa, which you're quite difficult to get, or an EU passport. I have an EU passport with Finland um, through my father, through Heritage. I was born in the United States, but I do have an EU passport that allows me to work here. Um, and my salary, I work at an English language school, is quite low and I am taxed at 7%. So there's a huge range. I pay directly into the healthcare system from my taxes. Um, and so what's happening is, uh, again, everybody qualifies, expats, uh, people who work here, unemployed, you know, no age limits. Uh, so I'm paying a percentage. People who are taxed medium and uh, middle of the road folks are paying percentage. High income earners are paying a percentage. Um, and that's covering people who are unemployed also. Uh, again, completely different system than the United States and corporations are paying um, and also the government is making up the difference. Uh, if you're coming over here and you're not working, which is the case I would say for about 90% of international living readers, I don't wanna make any assumptions, but I think that's the case. If you're coming over here on the long stay visa, which is the, sorry, getting windy, the retirement visa, um, you will be taxed on any income they can tax you on, which is not a lot because um, this is true in many, many, many countries. France has a tax treaty with the United States, so they cannot tax things that have already been taxed in the United States. So if you are drawing on social security benefits 
or anything from a retirement account or anything that can be considered passive income. France cannot touch that money because it's already been taxed in the United States, which I think is a very, very important fact. And um, the idea of high French, tax, French taxes, I think limits a lot of people of moving to France. But I'm here to say, if you're coming over as a retiree, do not worry about French taxes at all. It's all on your side and in your favor. If you do have very large investments, um, you definitely want to look into that. There is a, a wealth tax on 1.5 million euro of worldwide property assets. I'm not a tax expert, you should look into that, but if you're coming over um, on an re average retirement account, income, things like that, things that are even not even average, middle of the road, um, if you're really wealthy uh, or you, if you're well off, I should say, and you have a lot of investments and, and complicated tax issues, please see a professional. Bottom line is just to give you a ballpark figure, if you are you have about $35,000 of declared um, active income, the French government could look at you pay about $1,500 um, a year into the French healthcare system. Plus the little, you know, difference between the 70, you know, percent, like I mentioned, it'll be $9 to see a doctor. Um, I'll talk briefly about top of insurance a little bit later, um, but I do want to go into, and feel free, I know that can be a complicated topic, feel free to email me if you have any questions specifically on um, paying into the system, but that's quite a, quite the nuts and bolts. Um, the nice thing uh, about making a doctor's appointment now is it's gone online, it's super exciting. I would say about 99% of healthcare professionals in France are using the system because it saves them a lot of headache and a lot of manpower, woman power, um, as well because you can make your own appointments now online. Um, there is a website called, and you can have it on your phone as well, Doctolib, and in Docto and Lib because uh, Lib stands for free, okay, disponible, liberal. Uh, and what you do is you type in your city, for example, if I wanted to go to our village is called Uliul, or I want to go to a larger town or right, city next to us, Toulon, um, you type in what you're looking for. If you want like a general practitioner, you're looking for a specialist, or you want a dentist, a physical therapist, it's super exciting is you get to choose your language now. So if you want somebody who speaks English, you put in English as a drop down menu for English. Um, once you find the list of doctors who, for example, you would like who speak English, you click on a doctor and a outlook like calendar opens up. It will have the whole next week and the whole next month, you know, going as far as forward as possible. And you could click on the date and the hour you want to come. The doctor leave system sends you a confirmation uh, email automatically. And also you will receive, um, if you choose to, uh, a, a text message on your phone uh, the day before the appointment to remind you. Another cool thing, there um, are some high level specialists, I'll just say I had a problem with my ankle, I wanted to go see this top guy in Marseille, so he was recommended. It's true he was booked a couple uh, months out, it's usually not the case. Um, I have another appointment next week I was able to get right away. I, I made it yesterday and I, it's for um, coming up in like three, four days um, for a physical therapist. Uh, so usually it's not the case, but there are some high level specialists that will, it might be a couple months wait, but the cool thing is, is you can um, select a notification that says, you know, let me know if a uh, appointment, a rendezvous, uh, frees up. And I have been receiving SMS that this gentleman, this doctor, a specialist, he's free and I can come at an earlier date. So you can go and just click yes, and then they will uh, put forward your your appointment. So. A lot of information there. I'm gonna check my notes. I'm gonna be back to you. Now we're just gonna go on the road and I am gonna show you one of our local clinics. Uh, I don't believe we're gonna go inside, but we're just gonna see the outside just so you can have an idea of what the um, services look like in French. And I'll try and tell you a couple little anecdotes of uh, services I've received here and also top up insurance and the difference between private and public healthcare, which I have found not a huge difference seems. It's about the same quality of healthcare, which is very high. So we'll be back in just a minute. All right, we are at our local clinic, which is actually a five minute walk from our home. We didn't choose the house uh, based on the location of the clinic, but it was a happy coincidence, especially since I sprained my ankle about three years ago and I had to go down here to the emergency services. So I'm gonna pan around here 
So it's called a clinic Malartique. Uh, you have general practitioners, a uh, bunch of specialists. Over here in the corner, over my shoulder, I don't know if you can see it, is a physical therapy unit. And if we swing all the way around here, the parking lot, um, right behind me, this white building, is a dental clinic. So it's kind of a one-stop shop. Um, I'm gonna pull this back around here, just so you can see the entrance. Um, again, fairly large clinic. You can walk right in and make an appointment, or of course use the Dr. Leave service that I talked about, uh, which is the online appointment service. Uh, once you meet with a doctor, you're gonna bring your handy dandy carte vitale, which is your healthcare card. You give it to the doctor and he puts it in a credit card like machine. It's gonna pull up all of your health history in France. At the end of the appointment, you pay 25 euro by check cash or credit card and 70% of that is refunded to you directly to your bank account. It's quite an easy and efficient service. Uh, before we move on, I just want to mention the way that I choose doctors is actually quite simple. Uh, I look on Google reviews. So I just Google the doctor and see what kind of reviews they've had. Uh, we also do a lot of um, word of mouth with expats. So for example, I have a really nice dentist in Toulon, which I told my American expat friend Amanda about, and now she's going to see my dentist. So there is a lot of word of mouth going on and checking for uh, doctor's reviews on Google as well. One thing to mention, south of France, we are flooded <laughs> with doctors and specialists, anything you can think of because people want to live down here and the practitioners want to live down here as well. This is quite the Florida of France, retirement communities everywhere. One thing I would mention, if you're thinking of moving to another area in France um, outside of a major city, uh, there are many, many, just the list goes on and on, lovely places to look, uh, to move to in France. I would just suggest uh, having a bit of a, a check to see what kind of healthcare services there are in your area, especially if you uh, need some, you have some special healthcare needs. Smaller villages will have uh, less choice. It's a good idea to put yourself next to a larger town. This can be anywhere in the south, north, central part of France, but just to have it a good idea what services are available to you before you move. All right, so we're gonna continue on to Toulon just to give you the full picture of uh, what uh, medical services and practi practitioners you can expect to find in France. And then I'll do a recap of everything we talked about in this video. So off we go. All right, here we are in the center of Toulon. It's actually the next day. This is the Provence Alps Côte d'Azur region. Toulon is a port city in the southeastern corner of the country. Wanted to bring you down here today to talk more about healthcare and tell you that a lot of times your healthcare provider, doctor, dentist, specialist will be in the center of a town, city, or village in an apartment building or perhaps a house. So. These are some quite classic apartment buildings for the center of Toulon called the Hasmanian style. Uh, I'll bring you a little bit further down. If you look just down this street right here behind me, I work about two blocks from here. Come by and say hi if you're ever in Toulon. And this is my pharmacy on the corner, which I'll mention is also a great place to get your vitamins when you're in France. And my dentist is on this street too. You definitely can go to the clinic down. Uh, the street where I showed you from our house, but I uh, love my dentist, so stuck by him and he's right by my work. Um, we're gonna pan around this very busy boulevard, the main boulevard in Toulon, a uh, big department store behind us. Went for my first dermatologist appointment a couple months ago. Um, just found her on a Google search and all clear. I'll be going to see her uh, every month. Um, Going back, just really quick, just want to mention that there are also several laboratories if you need blood testing or the kind of tests um, and or scans here in the center or COVID tests, what have you. Uh, we are, as I mentioned, just full of healthcare services here in the South. Quick word on top-up insurance when we're talking about my, my dentist. I had a ton of dental work done last year. It wasn't a fun period. Uh, it was about three or four months of my life, but I went, went all in and I had a quite a dental emergency. So I had two root canals, uh, a crown, and two replacement crowns. Uh, my top-up insurance covered the extra cost because 
even the standard things in France are set for medical, uh, some of the dental care can cost a bit more. So cleanings are 13 euro, uh, very cheap, and so are having ca you know cavities filled and whatnot. Root canal is a standard price. All of that is 70% covered. But if you de do need to have a crown, um, there is a price that is set, but the dentist can go over that price. So you're looking at a range from 800 to 1200 euro. 70% of that will be paid back, but your top up insurance will cover the rest. That's why it came in handy for me. Also, as I mentioned, doctor's appointments, doctor's visits are covered at our 25 uh, euro, uh, covered at 70%, and the top up insurance would just cover that extra 30% that is not covered. We're a family of three. We pay about 100 euro a month for top up insurance. Several providers here that can help you with that. Um, and I mentioned also that public, private, I have one long term doctor at a private uh, hospital. I didn't, it, it didn't even know it was private at the time. I just found him by chance. I've stuck with him. He is about um, 10 euro more to visit but I really like him so I don't do any other private services the public service has been excellent and really great so um, I haven't found a big difference between private and public thank you very much for tuning into my video just a quick recap on the French healthcare system you will need a visa long stay visa you apply for that in the United States happy to answer any questions on the process and then when you arrive in France you will reside here for three months you will apply for your health care card get a temporary social security number in the mail um, there are no age restrictions networks to join or pre-existing condition rules I think I got it all out <laughs> Thank you again and happy you tuned in. Please send me any questions you have. Bonne journée, wishing you a great day from sunny south of France in the city of Toulon.